So I've heard you've always wanted to make your own custom kernel. Well, let's make it a reality. Okay, so step one, make sure you're running Ubuntu or else you can use a server like me. I'll be using this for the tutorial, a Cloud9 server. You can use VirtualBox if you want. Let's move to step two. In this step, we need to set up our environment. For that, we'll have to install all the required libraries for our kernel build. So for that, just copy and paste the code in the description. I'll have that in the description. Just install all the packages required. Paste that code in the terminal and hit enter. Step third, let's download the kernel source. The kernel source on which you will build your custom kernel. So if you have your device from any of these manufacturers, you can go to their website and download your kernel source. For me, I'll be using my source kernel source from GitHub for Sprout device, that is the Android one device. All you need to do is just git clone the repository or download it directly from a di direct download link on the uh, manufacturer's website. I'll just download my latest kernel source and demo the tutorial on it. Downloading this will take some time depending on your internet speed. So I have skipped past the video. Uh, so now we have our kernel source downloaded as you can see over here this is our kernel source okay guys so the next step is downloading a tool chain now we've got a lot of options in which tool chain we want so we can either have a uber tool chain a leonardo tool chain or a sabomod tool chain you can visit their websites and download the pre-built kernel tool chains uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using a uh, Uber Toolchain 6.0. So I'll just git clone the URL. So now, as you can see, we have downloaded the toolchain. Uh, you can see it from the Explorer window. Okay, guys, so now the interesting part let's make changes to the kernel source. First things first, let's name our custom kernel. For that, you need to go to Arch. ARM for an ARM 32-bit device or ARM 64 for a 64-bit device. Uh, here you'll find a list of all the diff configs for your device, for not just for your device, for all, many devices. So you need to do is find find the code name of your device. As you can see, we are we are using a Cyanogen mod diff config for our Sprout device. So here you'll find this line. A local version just change this for me it's black box for you guys it will be nothing over there so you can insert whatever the name you want for your custom kernel we'll be using this name build scripts huh uh, what are these well these are just the commands that you put in your terminal they are just packed in a file which is also called as a bash file or a sh script file. So in this file you can do all your exports and run the commands that are required for building a kernel. I've made this build script which makes it easier for me to custom, uh, compile a kernel every time. I'll have this build script in the description below. They're very easy. I'll explain you all of the commands in the build script in my next video which will be on build script. Well, why should anyone use your kernel, right? Like, you have to make it better. Better than anyone else's kernel. For that, you need to find patches. Patches which will improve the efficiency of your kernel. Make some tweaks which will improve your kernel. Add experimental features to your kernel. Overclock your kernel. Do things that no one else will and it will work. Your kernel will excel. Okay, so let's start the compilation of our kernel. First, we need to add the toolchain path to our build script. For that, let's change our directory to the toolchain and pwd. It will print the directory. Now, as we have the directory, 
will paste it into the bp underscore build dot sh. It is a build script file. You can name it whatever you want. So I'll just copy this location and paste it over here. So this will change the path of my tool chain that a kernel source will use. So now this kernel source will use this tool chain, Uber tool chain 6.0. Now after I do this, I'll just change directory back. Now I'll change my directory to the kernel source. Now as I'm in here, I'll dot slash bb underscore build dot sh. This will run the build script. Now it will run all the commands that are there in the build script. Now compiling your custom kernel should take like 5 to 10 minutes but this cloud9 servers are so slow they'll take like even 1 or 2 hours to make your kernel. So now we need is a zimage file from our kernel. We'll find it in arch boot zimage. Now you can't just send your zimage to your consumers. You need to make a flashable zip file. For that. I'll have this zip file in the download description below. Download it and all you need to do is open it, go to the tools, drag your Z image Now you can rename the kernel to whatever is fancier like We'll just have tutorial kernel as the name of the kernel, of course. Now you can also update the updater script if you want to make it even fancier. That's it, flash this zip file and you know how to build a custom kernel now. Please like, share and subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching guys.